One time for the queen And you already know Make some noise for your boy It's cut different, baby. Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs>
Like for real, bro. He done. That's real rap, man. Like, Do you, are y'all familiar with OG Beezy from Who's Cow? I'm not. You know, I don't, you know I don't really. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Get into all that, but I love where bro at right now. I can't wait for that. Uh, that goddamn it. I shoot the fate. Yes, sir. You said it, not me. <laughs> Scrooge, O Block, what's up, big dog? Talk to me. Let me know what's going on. Networking. Okay. That's all I'm not. That's what it do, man. Networking, man. And, man. and struggling, struggling to strive and striving to struggle. You hear me? And maintaining. That's it. That's all. Yeah, go. What's up with you, baby? Man, you know, I went to uh, Virginia, man. My nigga went and did it, man. My little nigga went and won nationals. Salute. Respectfully. Officially. Thank Y'all know. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Shout out to Ness. Showtime. Shout out to Showtime. But yeah, y'all, y'all know I've been saying it for the longest. Yeah. But now it's official. Sure. My boy is officially the fastest high he's, schooler he's the in the guy. country. He the king around here. He's the guy. Hey. <laughs> yep. <There>. So, <laughs> for real. Nigga went to the Adidas Nationals in, in Virginia and did his thing. He brought the gold back. Period. Period. You know, Congratulations, young it. God. Shout out to Showtime. Other than that, I'm back. I'm back working. I'm back working on shows and back working on music. Just working, you know. Yeah, for Smoke sure. A little crumble on your shit. <laughs> <laughs> that part. So I've been doing a whole lot of network shit. I'm feeling good about where we are right now. Me and Yago just shot our first episode of our wrestling show yesterday. I mean, y'all done shot y'all first episode of y'all sports show recently. Yay, yay. You know, our first episode of Everybody Eats is going to be filmed in like another week or so. I can't wait for that. You know what I mean? It's starting to really look like a network. It's starting to look like something that you could come to and you could stick around and be on for a while. You know what I mean? So I'm excited about that. Shoot I've been right. Gonna come back. I've been writing music. Oh, yeah, we got to shoot. The, but that's more towards the end, what we got coming up. Um. I've been working on music. Got some fire on the mm. way. Do yourself a, I'm a round um, of applause. Yeah. Clap for the man. Clap for the oh man for being that work. For being work. That work. Yeah. You said retire who? <laughs> they went. I try to. I try what to leave it? the game alone, but the streets need me. Boy, um, he pulled a Lazarus on this one, y'all. I get. Wait till y'all hear this. I got two of my um, original projects about to re-release on um, streaming platforms. And then I got uh, a project coming out right behind that. And I'm currently working on the compilation to cut. The, it's the network compilation. That's it. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Big, bigness. Well, while everybody been moving and grooving and hustling and doing their thing, I just been chilling. Working <laughs> in, in the, the crib. crib. <laughs> working in the crib. You hey. hear me? <laughs> Uh, just staying out the way, man. Uh, you know, been at the job for a while. You know what I'm saying? It's been eight years, you know. Promotion. Uh, Promote this, man. Now, at first I thought I wanted it. You feel me? But then it was just like, I, I, I moved up enough, I believe, you know. I don't really want the extra stress, to be honest with you. But uh, instead of moving up, I just moved different. So, you know, uh, I moved to like a whole nother side of the plant and starting to learn how to lead over there and do different things. So it's just, you know, I'm still learning, you know what I'm saying? And I'm still finding my way at the same time, you know what I'm saying? But it's, it's, it's coming together, you know, uh, Hopefully this shit pick off sooner than later. You know what I mean? We ain't got to worry about that. But yeah, that's part. But it's on the way. Until then, you know, I'm doing my thing, bro. I'm keeping the checks coming in, stacking me up a little bit of cheese, and and staying out the way, bro. I ain't doing too much, man. That's for, all we. Can, that's all we really can do. Chuck, what's going on? Tell me something factual. Um. We got 10 subscribers today to the YouTube page. Easy. Strong. We put in 10,000 views. So 
I think we need to talk about Mike Tyson tonight again. <laughs> <laughs> he said an easy 10 for the win. Easy. Another thing I wanted to say is I missed it two episodes ago, but this is our 32nd episode together already. That's fire. So over half of the episodes I've been here. Fine. Oh. I've been waiting to be able to say that. My bad. Still clapping. Yeah, that was, <laughs> nah. that was encore. It was nah, man, right. we love you, Chuck. Standing ovation. Yeah, it was all right. Love you, Chuck. Hey, Big, it's what's been going? a while since you've been on the show, man. Yeah. Tell us what's going on. Tell us something good. Tell us something new. Well, the cat's out the bag, you know, sponsor for the cut. Oh, yeah. Different network. Yes, sir. Same like everybody else for real. Still grinding. Uh, Man, I was... uh. So I just did the Cincinnati Black Wine Fest last month. Oh, man, and, uh, I saw that. It's called yeah. a couple video little man, it clips. Was crazy, man. Crazy. Uh, man, they had over a thousand people there, over forty-four vendors. Man, uh, most of the people was coming back. Like you are wine, the best shit in here. So, you know what I'm saying? When you in the uh, man, you talking about the biggest names with black wine. So you talking about like her wine. Black Mac, Black Girl Magic, um, Love Corkscrew, um, mm. E40 Wine, Snoop Wine. He had uh, representatives there. Mm -hmm. uh, Mary J. Blige Wine, T. N. Tamara Wine. Like so, even with the big dogs, you know what I'm saying? Like they get the customers coming back and, and telling me like, yeah, it ain't close. It like that was major for me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it put a big, like man, a lot of my sales these last. Three, four weeks been big in the natty. Um, looking at a location to open up down there. A oh, location? Man. Location. You need to man, listen. I, I got I need to put my app in now. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, man, the lady came to me like, man, I'm about to retire. Me and my husband want to invest. Like, we know a good thing when we see it and we ain't going to pass up on it. Um, so, man, link with them for real. Looking down at Cincinnati locations. Then outside of that, you know, the DNA cigars. Man, recovering from an injury, boy. I, uh, man, I've been down since, like, the new year. Um, mm. My hand got fucked up opening wine. So Really? Yeah. It got fucked up opening wine? Opening wine. Was and it we the corkscrew? Yo, the mm. corkscrew, man. It was one of them cheap ones. Shout out uh, to the... Uh, Who's bad? I'm a judge on a new reality show. Yeah, for sure. We had Lacey Love in here uh, yeah. three weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, so that's actually where I did it, where everybody was signing their contracts, celebrating. Popping bottles. Popping bottles. Kiara Wine, you know what I'm that's saying? That's some real bar hard shit. <laughs> <laughs> but outside of that, man, just for real, just recovering. Man, about to get back to work. Everybody got a head start on me in 2024, but... You feel like that? Well, yeah. Man, I had to sit down for a coat, like literally, like been in the hospital for a month. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. surgery, not knowing if I was going to, man, it got to the point where they didn't know if I was going to be able to keep my hand. Ah, uh, man. So, yeah, it was like that bad. Wow. So, I just, you know, I ain't speak on it. I just been laying low, letting God work. My mom told me it was. God sent me down because I do too much. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, when that body rejuvenated, I go to the doctor tomorrow. It's, he tell me it's go time. It's on the floor. So, yeah. yeah. But, you know, we have like a real brother-like relationship. So, I know this ain't the first time he done told you to slow the fuck down a little yeah, bit, Yeah, I know that been on my head. Like, and it's crazy. Like I said, like you said, man, when you running like that, man, you don't know what you're really doing to your body. Like, you talking about 20 hour days, mm. you know what I'm saying? Working two jobs, running like six businesses, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, man, it be days where I don't go to sleep and still go work 16, still go bottle wine, still go roll cigar, still making dirty water, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. man, I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? But, like, they say God work. So, he, yeah. while I was sitting down, I was sitting down, like, Maybe that's what I needed. Because my body, I'm like, I've been ready to go for about three, four weeks now. Like, boy, my hand moving, getting my movement back. I'm like, man, 
when it's go time, though, it's go time. Let me say one thing for sure. Your body going to let you know. You know for sure. Saying? Like for, for sure. Real. Like, it been days where, you know, man. I could tell, like, I need some rest. Mm -hmm. But even, like, <laughs> man, I can't tell you the last time I got, like, real rest till having to sit down. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. thank God, you know what I'm saying, I'm able to keep my hand. Mm -hmm. and about to be back full throttle, so yeah. Outside of that, just grinding, man. Y'all know. So look, whenever you gave me um, the restock bottles for the pie, right? Mm -hmm. the, the the first pie that we had when we had the bottles, um, when the pie was over, Chuck was like, "Hey, can I get one of those?" <laughs> <And I'm> like, <laughs> I'm like, and at first I'm like, well, you know, I'm trying to use it for that. But he's like, you know, I ain't never had that. And I'm like, ah, man, who am I to tell Chuck the GOAT? 30, <laughs> them, at that point, damn near 30 episodes in, who am I to tell the GOAT? He can't have a, <laughs> which, which one, one you want? Uh, which one you, which one you end up getting? Intimacy. Intimacy. Uh, yeah. That's the one that's uh, infused. Yeah, with CBD. Yeah. What, you, what did you think about it? It was very good. That's dope. Like it. Me and the girl tried it. She liked it too. That's good yeah. shit. Definitely gonna have to get us some more of it. <laughs> Keep it on me. You know what I'm saying? What's up with um the newest flavor? I still have yet to had have that one. So the black cherry, I can't keep in stock, man. The black cherry wow. more. Man, I literally like man, like it's crazy. Like, that's going crazy. So it's like for example, like how pineapple seduction your flavor. Mm -hmm. Like after drinking the black cherry, a lot of people's favorite turn. They taste like, they like I don't know, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like this black cherry might, and and literally like even at the black wine fest, that's the first one that sold out. That's what's up. So let me ask you, when you come in from doing 20 hours and, and you ready to wind down, what's your go-to flavor? Which one do you, and don't say, don't uh, pull the, the, I love them all. <laughs> I just close my eyes and I just grab yeah. a bottle. Uh, if you had to pick, which which one, do, what's your go-to? Man, that's like the second question I always get outside of where the name come from. Uh, We been asked you that. They got to yeah, catch up. They got to catch up. Yeah. So, so the answer I always be like, they all my favorites, but um, I'm going to just say, Right now, it's probably the Black Cherry, though, for real. That Black right. Cherry is fire. Because that's your new song that you recorded. <laughs> you know, when you're in the studio, that last yeah, song, you, you that's your one. shit for the book. Yeah, I'm about to, this I'm about to, about to put, go crazy. I got to do the house test. I got to go outside, do yeah. the car test. It's, and, and even, like you said, when the, in the lab, when I'm creating the flavors, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I'm tasting it, I'm like, yeah, this shit is going to be it. Like, every time, though, like, when I came with the first one, like, this it. Then it's like, I keep topping myself. So it's like, that black cherry and more different. It different. How many um, different ways or recipes did you try before it got to where you where you were satisfied? As far as from jump? Just, no, just this flavor cherry? specifically, trial and error wise. I ain't going to hold you. Like, I think I done perfected. So now it's just coming up with flavors that I think the world gonna love, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like, even like when I'm thinking of flavors, I'm like, bro, black cherry, that, that's like your Dr. Peppers, and, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, everybody love cherry Coke, mm -hmm. cherry Pepsi, you know what I'm saying? So um, I'm like, yeah, we gonna come with a black cherry this time. You know what I'm saying? And then, Shit, go in there and go to work. You feel me? Like yeah. that first batch was fire. Then it was about just when I'm going to put the release date out on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I'm sitting on this since like November. I'm like, man, I'm going to drop it for Valentine's Day. You Did know you what I'm saying? Know. Type shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, we in the kitchen now, July 28th. <clears throat> we got a new one coming, you know what I'm saying, for the four year anniversary. But I'm only going to do. 150 bottles because it's going to be limited edition. Mm. Well, you know where bottle number one need to go. Period. Now number one podcast and coming out of Ohio. And it's going to be crazy. Like, they $50 bottles. Mm -hmm. 
So, you know what I'm saying? Um, I posted, it's going to be um, called Forbidden Great. Gold Bottle. Oh, okay. You come in gold bottles. Gold bottles with the signature and everything. Limited edition. Mm-hmm. We changing the game. We changing the wine game forever. That's this shit up. mine now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's how I feel. <laughs> That's what's up. <clears throat> sure. yeah. That's what's up. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, I'm a while I can. I'm gonna get your flowers. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Um, you probably don't even remember me. I do though. But uh, yeah. the last time I seen you. This was like, I want to say this was 2016, 2017. Uh, you and my cousin, Hunt, was doing a show at Jazz Central. Nice. And um, matter of fact, it was 17 because I had just did, I had just recorded uh, Bodak Screws. I had redid Cardi B's Bodak Yellow. And um, some producer dude from Atlanta. Was, Talking about uh, that was Jan Jeans, I think, at the time. <coughs> was it Jan Jeans? Nah, that was Jazz, <coughs> jazz Central. That was Jazz. It was Jazz. You talking about uh, and you had a uh, dude, uh, whoever won the little thing got a first video and, promo and all of that shit. Yeah, and you with Pinky have, Red. Yeah, Pinky Red was the uh, female that put it together with her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo. I remember that, and now that's the last time I seen you, G. Damn. Oh, well, until well, we uh, just seen each other yeah, at the Keys, yo, uh, yo, Black Black Billionaire uh, thing. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, when I Before see I you, I came down. I ain't seen you, bro, in a minute too. That's the first because you was the first person I seen when I came through there. I'm like, damn, I ain't seen you, bro, in a minute. On everything. So yeah. for me, so for me to see you transition from music, I don't know if you had this going on back then, but because I had got locked up. Okay. So to come home and see other things that you have, uh, other avenues that you have uh, followed or whatever, I, I I admire your 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 growth and progression. You know what I'm saying? So that's love, bro. That's um actually back then that was like nigga was in the lane with the music, but like that's I'm always thinking of something different. Like, my mind, I always, like, people ask me why I smoke cigars. I told bro, no. Like, I'm a cigar smoker. Um, it put me in, like, meditation. Mm -hmm. So when I'm meditating, I'm thinking, like, I'm always trying to think of another way to make sure my family's straight. Like, something that's going to leave. When I leave, it's going to carry on. So the music, the music was never for me, like, fame, for the fame or nothing. That was actually just love. Like, that's how much I love music, you know what I'm saying? So whether I got on, which we, you know, I got stories for days with the music, yeah. but that all, you know what I'm saying, that was just out of love. But, like, even with the wine and cigars, like, that's love. Like, it ain't work to me. That's why I could go do 20 hours, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because everything that I do, even if it's, it's a title, a job, but it's something I love to do, you know what I'm saying? Whether yeah. being in the schools, I get the mentor, you know what I'm saying? That's dope. Working at RTA, getting to be able to meet my elders, and you know what I'm saying? I'm a people person, and then go cook wine, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Something I always love to do, you know what I'm saying, and wanted to do. Yeah. Yeah, so. What made you want to tap in with wine, though? Like, what, like, is that, is, 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 is this something that, you have been studying on or like what intrigued you to even want to go that route? Oh, um, so like on the first, like the first pack we linked up, um, the wine for real, like was always something that I was always interested in because like I was telling Brian, I'm like, this like bosses, like you see people, bosses drink wine. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. like the people, like it's an elegance. It's something, mm -hmm. it's, it's it's different. You know Class. what I'm saying? Most Class, definitely. yeah. So uh, I always had that in mind, but then never pursue it until I went and linked up with a couple of my cousins. Well, my cousin and his people was having a meeting. They like, how y'all is, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, that's the first time I seen like six motherfuckers like, all with 
that's six figures and they all was like younger than me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they yeah. they eating together. Like, you know what I'm saying? There wasn't no one person and everybody like all of them had their own bag or they own pie and they was putting it together. But they in the meeting talking on some at that time, I don't even know motherfuckers that was doing stocks and shit. They was doing it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like they jumped on like Bitcoin and shit before everybody knew. Like they they so they eating, you know what I'm saying? So they in the meeting talking on some ball shit. They was drinking wine and smoking cigars. I'm like, this the most ball shit ever, bro. Like they sitting at the round table. And real I'm at, player. And that, yeah, real player ball shit. Like, so I'm thinking to myself, like, at that time, I'm doing music, but I'm still trying to find my niche for real. And I got the damn I'm like, ain't nobody doing wine. Definitely where I'm from. Ain't nobody making wine, you know what right. I'm saying? And then started with, you know what I'm saying, looking it up, how to make homemade. And bought my little first little four, five hundred dollar Midwest supply kit and been in there <coughs> whipping since. You know what I'm saying? That's nice. <coughs> yeah. So like <coughs> do you usually have other people test it for you or do you like test I, it yourself? I do like mm. I take I do taste it myself. Mm. But I got like my girl, my sister, my mom, like I got a little team like my sister May, BJ, my bro Rick, Hunt. Like, I got about ten yeah, I got a little team that keep me my sister was the first one, like I Man, when I first started, boy, she was, what I love about my baby sister, bro, she ain't no yes man or nothing. Mm-hmm. So if that's your trash, she going to tell you. Like, yeah. So the first couple of batches when I first started, she like, yeah, nigga, you might need to find something else to do. <laughs> and then, you know, yeah. <laughs> I came with a, the first batch and it was good. The first batch that was good to her. And then just start trying to repeat that process. And, and then, like, now every, every flavor, like, I come, I come with them, and I even with the ideas of what flavors. Like, I'm gonna drop this black cherry. They all, was, yeah, like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Like, mm-hmm. so yeah, that was the one. When I like even that's the new. Like even when like the forbidden great. Like that's we coming up with the name. That's the newest one, July 28th. I think yeah. that's gonna be that's ghetto gonna, gold that's right there. Yeah, it is. I ain't gonna it is. That's why I, we coming with the real. gold bottle. <clears throat> yeah, like this one gonna be even. Th- like even with the process of names, you know mm. what I'm saying? I yeah. go through my people like that you know what I'm saying? Hit. Yeah, that forbidden know grape gonna be different. Like <sighs> if you fuck with that black cherry, that forbidden grape gonna I think that shit gonna mm. like I'm doing hundred and fifty bottles and no I'm 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 saying no motherfuckers gonna be gone. My favorite yeah. is the peach right now. That, that pleasure peach. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, yeah. That pleasure me, peach go crazy. Let me tell you, my brother <clears throat> Was extremely disappointed whenever you came the first time and he couldn't make it. Man, I I was I, it's crazy because I remember like I'm like damn, uh, Brian come. Yeah. They told me you had you was I think you was at work. No, uh, actually I went to I had tickets already to go see Earthquake, so I was like, oh, man, okay, I gotta. Yeah. I'm like, man, I already bought, I paid for him. You feel me? I, yeah, he was burnt because he's a fan of man. you. Of your wine, and no then, bro, and, and I appreciate that. I be more for less know me. You yeah, feel they, me? They, <laughs> they know me. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> real talk. Yeah, that's, that's real shit right there. Yeah. More for less know me. Yeah. So look, I can't remember exactly where I seen this, but I saw you say something about you about to put out an album. You actually about to put out a CD or something like that. Uh, 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 I can't even say CD no more. <laughs> you sound like an old nigga when you say, say shit say like CD. <laughs> yeah, Project. Project, yeah. yeah. Against our lives, man, it's on the way. So you been in the studio actively recording? I have. I have. Like, uh, so I got bro on my ass on that hunt. Yeah. Once I told him I was coming, because, man, it, back 2016, 2015, I was telling him Against Our Lives coming soon. They nigga like, uh, you Dr. Dre in this nigga. You <laughs> the fuck out of us. That so. sound like somebody you know. Yeah, yeah, me and bro was just talking about Damn, that. Damn, that's night. crazy. We was Link and uh, 
That is so crazy. you so niggas funny. is not just gonna leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> yeah, I'm dropping, man. It's, uh -huh. it's coming. Uh -huh. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah. it's like I think my love for music went away because, like, to me, you know what I'm saying? All this new shit, trash. Like, I can't get into none of it. Like, so I'll be still like you was catch me in the car and I'm still banging like Jeezy Thug motivation and you know what I'm saying? I can't get. No disrespect to mm. none. You know what I'm saying? The new art. I know it's hey, bro. Ain't mad at change and all I don't that. know why oh, he's yeah. doing all this knee slapping and shit like he about to do the sweet <laughs> chin music. <laughs> but what you talking about is some classic shit. Yeah. This nigga is riding around to Lil Durk and Drake like that. Uh, oh, it's man. not the same thing, man. Don't be looking for fist Dude, bumps this one, and shit. Hold on, time out. It's, one, it. it's, one, it's one song. You, you pulling out one song. Needless to say. Pull bro, your playlist. A out. lot of my shit is old, bro, because a lot of this new shit has, is, is garbage. But you know? Everything old ain't classic. Yeah, that's true. That is, that is true. <laughs> but I don't know what I'd have got that's not classic. I'll let Very. you know next time I get yeah. the car with you, please. <laughs> hey, stay tuned. The next time we're going to have this discussion. <laughs> but it, yeah, so like uh, being around like my little bro, Trey Keller, being around uh, Hunt, you know what I'm saying? I'm starting to get that little itch back. Or like my nigga, uh, little cuz B. Scar. Like a couple few years ago, he had me jump on one, like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm writing up 16, and it's it's like it's coming back so easy. But then even like starting the process to do the new album, um, it's been like, so I got like songs in the chamber, you know what I'm saying? But that ain't the person I am now. So it's like, I could give you a lot of them old songs, but I'm like, nah. You know what I'm saying? That ain't me now. So I'm, we getting different. Like, uh, man, that, my nigga, little Cuz Pharaoh, uh, murder. You know what I'm saying? Sending the beats, and and like I dropped. Uh, I think it was. Oh, you like got you got some ago. production with Pharaoh? Yeah, that's that's my little Cuz. Like, uh, shit, he did. He done did a few beats that I done did songs to. That I probably gonna switch it up a little bit, cause like I said, like. Where I'm you are mentally about, yeah, and mentally, shit. I'm in a different space. But uh yeah, I've been in the lab with them. And then I think what really got me back, like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and drop. I had did a, a song off the uh Rick Ross beat, that mafia music, mm -hmm. about boss shit. And it was like, man, I'm writing this shit so quick, like then getting in the studio and getting no goosebump, and when you hear it. Like, you know you get hit with something. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I still got it. Yeah. And it ain't no no bullshit. Like, I ain't got to compromise who I am to appease nobody. So anybody that yeah. heard it, they like, yeah, nigga, this is what we've been waiting for. You know what I'm saying? It's more. I was like, going to say, like, fuck about rapping what, you know what I'm saying, what went on back in the day. You yeah, got a lot of shit going it's on now. Going on you now. Yeah, we like, got an all other story to tell. Like, we're like, bro, could tap in like back at 16 like we done transition from from that you know what i'm saying to being in a different space now you know what i'm saying my mentality different it's 2015 so, oh, yeah, yeah a almost boot, a decade bro. boy that seemed like yes that was a god boot, damn man. that's what i'm saying bro that was a boo that was a, about a decade ago bro i think i think mud bros came out in 2015 damn that was a long time ago it seemed like yesterday yeah, man. Jazz Central and all that shit, yeah, bro. That's man. crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Like, yeah. Almost 10 years is crazy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Man, I'm talking about with the music, boy. We was, for a minute, man, I thought, shit, I had, uh, man, we had labels on the on the table. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think it was uh, linked with Dipset, 730 Dip. Had a hmm. uh, three album deal with No Limit, you know what I'm saying? Um, Universal, D Block, Wu Tang. Like, man, we had some opportunities. Went on tour with like Pat, opened up for uh, what's Cuz from Pittsburgh? Uh, Wiz. Wiz in Chicago, okay. Wiz in Peoria, <coughs> you know what I'm saying? And, uh, Dope. <coughs> Man, we done, man, opened up for like Jeezy, 
Scooter, man, I uh, met like uh, Kevin Gates. Man, I got a picture with Gates when he was first in the game. And uh, my bro did a song with him, Trey Killer. He did a song with him. Okay. Yeah, he got a song with Gates. Yeah, he got Did it ever come Gates. out? Yeah, that motherfucker was fired. Fuck that So we was down to Miami and shot the video. And this around the time when he first came out, like he wasn't even touch. Remember I interviews like a nigga touch him, don't touch me. Yeah, like, yeah, right. Bro, I got a picture with him where he got his arm around <laughs> me. And hurt. Like <coughs> at that point in time, I I really wasn't tuned in the Gates. I just was, mm-hmm. like, he, he rocking with my bro, so I'm fucking with you, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But then I post a picture and everybody was, man, like Gates gotta fuck with you, bro. Like he don't touch people, like, you know what I'm saying? And so like, even to now, like, bro, he got, like, bro, he fuck with bro and I'm tough. And you know, like Boosie, me and Boosie, fucking with bro, like bro done got me in the, <laughs> meeting a lot of people too, but. Yeah, man, we had a right. run with that music for a second. Bro. Yeah. yeah, a lot of a lot of <coughs> shit. I done did a lot that even with not getting signed, shit, I done did more than the most. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it ain't motherfuckers. Too many people that could say they was getting paid fifteen hundred for features. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I'm did a that. tour on his own. You know what I'm saying? I put a tour together. On my own, you know what I'm saying? We focused in T That's amazing. and brought my niggas with me, you know what I'm saying? And we was hitting all through Indiana, St. Louis, like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's tight. we was doing some shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. Man, that's what's up. That mean if you back <clears throat> rapping, you going to finally quit ducking this feature, huh? Man, we going to get that one together. That's it's, Say less. It ain't too many people that I'm going to jump on the track for. Like. But you one of the people I will, so that ain't that ain't nothing with a car, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I heard it first. Period. Right here. You already know. I'm gonna be calling that favor in very soon. I'm in the lab. I'm cooking I'm cooking those six mm-hmm. days like a motherfucker. Very soon. <laughs> Twelve, six days. <laughs> like, yeah, you all some other shit. Anybody got mm-hmm. anything else they wanna ask, bro? Uh, you gotta need like um you got any ideas for like a short package of wine, like a I like got the four see, packs, like the little yeah, okay, I got four packs, you got four, uh, okay. Them that them motherfuckers can't stand stock either. Like so, <laughs> I I was doing a variety pack, four pack. All right, I'm gonna say I didn't see those. But, yeah, all right. I got the little four packs. Uh, like it's about money, but it ain't like like I said, like ain't nothing that I do is like money hungry for me you know what i'm saying like it, yeah. it's love like but like the cost of glass and all that shit don't went up you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. and i still try to <coughs> the prices that i began with nah, yeah. but like getting the small bottles like that That's shit cool. like they'll be on back order and all that like so getting that for the small bottles man i do when i get them i put them on the market and them motherfuckers get gone like yeah, but okay. yeah, definitely had the four packs on. That's what's up. Yeah. So look, before we get to these topics, with you being an OG in the game, <clears throat> and you know, um, a successful businessman at that, what information that's that you can give somebody right now that's going to be watching this that they can use tomorrow towards something that they got going on to push them to the next level? I think we had talked about it, man. I whatever you believe, bro, or if it's a thought, do it. Like, I feel like we hold ourselves back mentally. I could say that because I did it. Like, anything that I used to think of back in the day, I would find a way to talk myself out of it. You know what I'm saying? Whether it was music. Self-sabotage? Yeah. So it was like, like yeah, even yeah. With, with the wine right now, like, I tell people like, <laughs> um, back in the day I would have got in my own way, you know what I'm saying, and, and talk, convince myself like, nah, you would never be big like, black corkscrew, or even like, shit, we, uh, Moscato's and, but you know what I'm saying, all these brands like I would have, even with music, 
Like I think <coughs> even with getting as far as I did, I still was, I didn't think I'd be like 50, Drake and all them, you know what I'm saying? But it's, it's mental, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't make a shot you don't shoot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying? Jordan missed game winners, but mm -hmm. and he ain't hit a lot of game winners. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. He a six time champion because of that. You know what I'm saying? So, in, but you know what? I think that a lot of people <coughs> fuck up trying to be Drake or one of them niggas. I, I not said be Drake and them. I'm saying turning your dream into reality like mm -hmm. Drake and them. You see what I'm saying? Not. I ain't saying, like, cause musically, like, I don't think I'm no, none of them. I'm different. But it's a blueprint. And my blueprint may be different. I can't tell you how, I, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can tell you, but it may not work for you the same way as it worked for me. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. everybody got their own path. I, my thing is, shit, follow your path. Like, with this podcast, if you think it's going to go bigger than, Drink champs and all that. You the first thing is to believe in it. Oh yeah, for sure. And then and then what turn it into that is going to reach that. You know what I'm saying? So you would get in your own way if you get the questioning that you can't be the biggest podcast. You know what I'm saying? So I tell anybody like if you if that's something you want to do, just do it. Well, guess Full what? throttle. For like don't because what you're gonna do later on in life is regret it. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, talk. bro. Like, we was doing the podcast. It was moving, but we stopped. You know, the good this thing. This shit could have been. You know, the good thing about us, though. Yeah, on that. <clears throat> we all stop. We already know we the big dogs around this motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Ain't no such thing it, it, as quit around this motherfucker, nah, man. That's the thing, though. Like, that's how you supposed to think. No, that's like, what it is. Yeah, now I get, like, Jordan the GOAT, right? Yep. Or people feel he the GOAT, but if Kobe didn't have that drive to, to be the GOAT, we don't get the Mamba. Yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying? Like, we don't get King James if he didn't think he was going to be. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah, for right. sure. It's a blueprint. Like, niggas see what Jordan did, like, coming from what, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. You got a nigga that got cut as a sophomore. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers get cut and then don't play ball no more after that. And then you got a motherfucker that got cut. And went to work, you know what I'm saying? It came back him. Yeah, like, for sure. You got that that's the way you got a, the mentality. Yep. If I file nine times, I'm getting up ten. Period. You feel me? Yeah, like, for sure. Now at a point in time, I will file it. Uh but then once I change that mentality, then it's like ain't nothing I can't do. Mm -hmm. That's my advice to anybody that wanna do whatever they want to do. And just do it. Just do that shit. For sure. All right. Y'all ready to get to some topics? Yes, sir. Aye, 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 aye. Yes, sir. <coughs> All right. We might as well start off with, with your boy. <coughs> What's his name? Jake. <coughs> hey, Jake. Jake. Paul and That's show boy. And my, hey, Jake. And my boy Tyson. Man, don't, don't do that. Bro. He's not my boy. That's show boy. That's not my boy. You should see them comments too. You need to get in that uh, comment section. I've seen it. You'll see. You'll see. You'll be surprised at how many how, people. How many people is fucking with? All right. Anyways, but Man. the but the, the art. Listen, my argument ain't about Tyson. How many? And, and Jake, we both know that. How many boxing matches has this man had? Who? Okay. Jake. Hold on, but I'm the, the argument that he's talking about ain't hey, Mike Tyson and Jake Powell. I mean, uh, everybody uh, came uh, to the same conclusion that Mike Tyson would obliterate Jake Powell. Yeah. He's talking about what I said about Roy Jones. Oh, yeah. snap. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's what he talking about. And if you look at that comment section, you just be surprised about what people Are think. Man, I want to. I want to dip in that. Jake Paul ain't <laughs> fought no fucking body. Um, but the video. I don't know if you've seen this video or not. So I'm gonna show you specifically. Yeah, see what's going it's on. a video of Jake Paul and Mike Tyson training. <laughs> Okay, 
Jake. I see you, man. I see you getting it in. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I see you. Let's go check on Mike real quick. Something totally different, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> that nigga so doing that at 60, bro. That's man. crazy, bro. For sure. But look. Well, he ain't 60. We no, got to know that. The there, monster, bro. Bro. You got to know that we're in the content space, right? So seeing this video, did everybody get to see that? Yeah, I saw it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So up here being in the content space, you know that this is like a promotion thing. Like they're making light of the situation mm -hmm. like he's trolling mm -hmm. me and Yego was sitting here talking earlier <laughs> carry on i mean i want my brother oh, i want man. my brother to dive in with me in this conversation down this trail how did you feel about that video when we were sitting here chopping it up earlier because at first i told him i'm like i don't even know if this is something you know that we should bring up and then <clears throat> You say it. What I say? <laughs> you don't even remember. <laughs> you say it. He think that this is serious. Nah, he think nah. this clip is a serious thing. I'm Man. serious as in what though? Jake Paul ain't really training like that. That part. You don't think no. he's You think he training harder than that? He training like Mike Tyson? No. You seen the yeah, video, no. bro. That's yeah. The video I just showed you. What did you get from that when you look at that? That Tyson is way more advanced than your boy Jake. But no, he's not my boy. See, I think you've got a misconception. <laughs> I'm Team Tyson, bro. I'm Team, yeah. I'm team Tyson. Yeah. But do you think that that's what he's actually doing at training? Do you think that's what Jake is doing? Like, do you think that's his training regiment to fight Mike Tyson? If that's what he been doing, I think, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he done fought some, I ain't going to even, like, they, because them, the people he been fighting been more like MMA, so it ain't like straight boxing, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So that may be, you know, how he training for real, like, but Tyson compared to them is a whole different animal. And you would think Jake Powell knows that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I refuse but you, to you think that that's that trust the process though. Like mm -hmm. I, if you my trainer and I'm telling you to get me ready for Tyson, if this is what you're telling me to do, then I'm 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 taking what you, you know what I'm saying? Like you a <clears throat> trainer, you're a professional trainer. You know I'm about to fight Tyson. If this is what you're telling me that's gonna get me ready for Tyson, I'm I'm not a professional trainer. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna take what you telling me and apply it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. If, I don't know if the trainers in them lollygagging with him. All right, so look, so <laughs> let me ask, it. so let me ask you this. Let's put you in his shoes, and your trainer is telling you this is how you need to condition for a fight with Mike Tyson, and then you see Mike Tyson's training footage. We change. Where do you? We change it. Up. <laughs> we, just, you just, you just see the difference. Like, we listen, bro, we got to <laughs> July. You know you, what I'm saying? You gonna like, come back and question your trainer, right? I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna say, what can we do different to get <laughs> there? You know what I'm saying? Like he may not, cause, cause they may be doing drills like that though. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't, mm -hmm. and they ain't advanced. Like you talking, we talking Mike Tyson, bro. I'd have had to come back and ask him, like, hey, or you or, seen what Tyson doing? Or we call it Tyson. Like, you sure you want to do this? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll <laughs> might try to get his way out of that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? The only motivation them coaches can give them in that corner is tell them how much that purse is going to be. Yeah, you hear You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, hey, bro, that, that's, that's all yeah, about the bag. It's no, all, all about the bag. They can get yeah. it, man, bro, because what would make you even want to go in there with him? Because it's well, the anyway. <laughs> and, and, and for real, though, for real. like, what, 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 what would you think, up. like, even with his training, like, do you expect him to be training like a Tyson, though? I don't. I don't expect him to be training like a me. I, it I look like some. <laughs> so but I'm, now I don't. Now I done seen a couple other little videos too, though, where he, you know what I'm saying, getting it, where he doing the punching with the uh, trainer and shit, mm -hmm. and and doing the almost like the same thing, but it ain't 
like I said, like you talking about a motherfucker been doing this since he was 13 compared to a motherfucker that's doing it. Doing like he, he right. probably getting love now. Like he might get more of a love for it now. At first, I think he may have, it might have been about a bag, but he probably do really like boxing now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you talk about five years versus 40. Man. That's like a motherfucker just playing ball like Jeremy Lin and Kobe. It's a difference. Like mm-hmm. Kobe been doing this. Like yeah, you for got sure. a nigga that caught a little 18 game streak and then thought he was him till he <laughs> went against him. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. Like tried to tell him. Yeah, man, like boy, man, Je- man. like motherfucker Jeremy Lin. Remember when it, the Lin said and shit? Yeah, I remember. And then he then he went against some dogs and and niggas, Quiet. that shit fizzled out. Like, hold on, when Bello coming me. back? Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, we need fire. Bello. Yeah. We need Bello. Like, you feel me? That that's kind of like a, a comparison. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that was a good one too. Yeah. Go a uh, great one. Yeah, he gonna get his ass beat unless <laughs> listen. <laughs> and listen, this is my this is what I'm worried about. If Mike Tyson get in that ring with him and and that one switch. He flicked that one switch in his mind where, <clears throat> like I said, I seen him training with his trainer, and it get to a point where he done backed his trainer all the oh, way up yeah. in the corner, and you could see the fear in his eyes, like, whoa, whoa, Mike, Mike. <laughs> like, he was trying to, <laughs> trying to make him snap out of it. You feel me? Like This this ain't him. Like if, this, You feel me? Like, nigga, I'm just a trainer. This ain't Jake yet. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Tyson always on go, though. Yeah. Always. Yeah. I t- and <sighs> you seen the Boosie uh when he did the interview with Boosie? Oh yeah. Like even not even just fighting, just in conversation, bro. Like that nigga intimidating. Intimidating bro. as fuck. That nigga, hey. Motherfucker used to ask shit like, what would you do if Tyson uh stepped on your girl's shoe and shit like that? Like, <laughs> shit. <laughs> what you mean what I'm <laughs> 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 Baby, you better move your motherfucking feet. Nigga bite people ear off and everything, bro. That Man. nigga different, bro. You seen him cut up on the plane? Yeah. You seen him cut up on that plane? You see what I'm saying? He different. That was my favorite boxer. So I man, I'd be sorry as fuck if my nigga they they do something to let Jake get that off. You know what I'm saying? I mean, no, oh, man. But it, it, no, I, I don't think. I don't but it ain't, cause, it ain't cause nothing he, but a sport. It ain't nothing but a sport. It's like, it's a sport, man. Yeah. That part too. Now, that nigga Jake knocked the fuck out of that one nigga, though. Uh, the MMA, though. Man, he knocked his ass out cold. Not the not the last black dude, the first one. Not the yeah, the first twice. one. Twice. I saw that. Yeah, when he dropped him. But, he, but Tyson's jaw way different. He talking yeah. about uh, Nate right, Robinson? Right. Now, that's nah, a basketball Nate, player. Nah. It was a uh, you talking about, Nate, Nate, talking about Nate Quill. Oh my god, <laughs> like a retired boxer or something yeah. like hey, that. Nah, I it thought them memes he was, was never going in. He was an MMA oh, fighter. Goodness. Okay, uh, I can't think of oh, dude's name. They fought god. twice Thanks, though. Man. Then he ended up fighting an uh, older MMA boxer, but the the yeah. dude he fought twice. I can't think of dude's name because I really want. I really ain't into MMA like that, mm-hmm. but. Mm-hmm. I I watch it, but I don't know like who to you don't coach follow and all everybody that. Yeah, like, like that. that. But yeah, that that second fight, boy, he put that nigga in a coma. <laughs> he put him in a coma. I can't so, think of doing that. So the last time we had this conversation, I'm under. Okay, let me say this. I'm under the impression that they can't knock each other out. They can't. But who's to say that? All you gotta do is hit a motherfucker the right nah, way. Nah, and he, nah, when he, you when you look at that Nate Robinson, that was a uh, intent. Yeah, he got his. Ass. But was that well, that wasn't supposed to be a spar? That was supposed to be a celebrity boxing nah, match, right? I think the only spar what was that supposed was, to be? Uh, no, because it was Tyson on the same, and Roy. It was on the same card, wasn't it? I want to say that was on the same card. That the only one that I know that was supposed to be like more of a spar was the. Tyson and Roy, cause Roy down there knew what it was. You feel me? Like, mm. like they. I think they even went up on the gloves, yeah, Roy. like the side. Yeah. 
Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Like Robinson was, he was fresh to the motherfucker. Though. Hey, hey, what Buzz like? What they say? You're not flying. You're falling with style. <laughs> not falling with style. Man, he rock hey, that boy was fresh. He, he, uh, he fought Jake. That was Jake. That was. His I want to say that was Jake that he fought. Jake. Or was it the? Or was that Logan? Was nah, brother? it was Jake because Logan fought. Logan fought Mayweather. 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 Yeah, yeah, so that was okay. Jake that fought. Yeah, Jake. Mayweather was toying that boy. <clears throat> yeah, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's so been a so couple if, of those. so if this match between Tyson and Jake is nothing like it's not if it's not set up how it was set up for with Roy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tyson. <laughs> Night night. Mm. He ain't gonna. He ain't gonna be able to. Eat I ain't gonna lie tyson. to you. It, ain't too, it, it, it is not too many people, bro, in the history of boxing who has been able to really like stand underneath Tyson. It's not too many people who has been able to do that ever. Right. What you think, Chuck? Come on, we packing him out. Come get some yeah. kicks in, man. <laughs> what you? Um, from what I've seen, as far as the training and all that. It, I agree with if if it's pretty much an open fight, it's it's over with. It depends on what the rules are going to be. Before I want to have a, a a finalized opinion, definitive yeah. answer. <coughs> All right, makes sense. I guess this is just around that time where Buddy just going to pop up a lot. He says Donald Trump says it's going to be a bloodbath for the country. If he doesn't get elected <laughs> while discussing the auto industry at a campaign rally in Ohio. Hold on. Let me go ahead. and We got some we got some footage. Hold on. Oh, my God. Take it to the footage. Donald Trump spoke at a rally in Ohio and we decided we have to start here. We're going to put a 100 percent tariff on every single car that comes across the line. And you're not going to be able to sell those guys if I get elected. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. But they're not going to sell those cars. <laughs> it's going to be bloodbath for the country. That will be the least of it. Now, the Trump team quickly said last night, nothing to see here. He was just talking about the auto industry. Consider the full context, everyone. Otherwise, it's irresponsible. Well, if they want us to consider the full context, Let's do just that. Because the full context is that Trump kicked off the same exact rally by saluting the people who were convicted for the deadly assault on the U.S. Capitol on January 6th, all to the tune of the national anthem sung by a choir of imprisoned insurrectionists. The full context is that some of the first words out of Trump's mouth last night, same rally, were thanking those rioters and calling them patriots. The full context is that he also said in this same rally, quote, if this election isn't won, I'm not sure that you'll ever have another election in this country. The full context is that he went on to say some undocumented immigrants are, quote, not people. And of course, the full context is that this is much bigger than one single speech. This embrace of political violence, this dehumanizing language. This is what Donald Trump has been preaching for years. <laughs> Who posted this shit? Chuck? I was about to say, all right, Chuck, I get it, big dog. <laughs> I get it. I take it back. Got to run it back. That was some bullshit. This nigga. It's deja vu, man. Didn't oh, we already go. do this? Huh? This Didn't we already nigga. do this? <laughs> like I just, four years ago, eight years ago? Buddy. But here, 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 how you know everything crooked. You know what I mean? They'll sit up here and watch all this stuff go on. You know what I mean? Sit up here and look in everybody's face like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this just happened. <laughs> this, this nigga. Th we're going to impeach him. We're going to lock him up. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And don't nothing ever happen. And he coming and back. We and he and coming he back. Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. Like, they just, it's just right there in your face, bro. Like, he, he just, he just, he just insinuated another. <laughs> That like, motherfucker said, right now, bad, he bro, said, if on, I don't just, get like, elected, he just that told is, you, nigga, a... it's gonna be some people dying, bruh. And he was in Ohio, 
bro. And this is for and real. A, Trump, a Republican Trump, 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 Trump country for real. This is a Republican. Yeah. That must be one of him cousins. It was, it was probably one of his cousins down at that uh, Montgomery brawl or something. He thought he <laughs> he, was, he wants some get back. I don't know. Because <laughs> it's gonna be a bloodbath. <laughs> this nigga. Let me get elected. Let somebody throw a hat in the air. I <laughs> dare you. Now the the most man, the <laughs> most on, interesting bro. thing for me be shit like. When you say things that is hard to defend or to justify your means for saying it, right? <laughs> and then you got people who ride the coattail or try to not acknowledge the bullshit. So I'm in in flipping into Trump, his counterparts. Mm -hmm. Now, what are you going to say? What are you? What defense will you have for this man saying it's going to be a bloodbath? When you hear that, what comes to your mind? You know, you already know what comes to mind. I mean, I ain't got no defense for him. I'm not necessarily but, saying okay. you, but I'm saying for the Republican people because you know it's no longer it's not really a Republican party; it's the Trump party mm -hmm. because he's the motherfucker who he owns that shit, mm -hmm. and a lot of them be dick riding dude. You know what I'm saying? And then he sit here blatantly telling you what the fuck is about to happen. But then when they go back and play the tape, people try to downsize what he says as if it's not what it really is. But I think that's like his I team. Said, bro, at the end of the day, he just he just showing you how the world works. You know what I'm saying? Or you know what I'm saying? Is as is known today, you know what I'm saying? Or as is controlled today, you feel me? Like for yeah. the most part, that is, you know, not everywhere really, but we talking the United States, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. this, it's, I don't know, bro. Like this, that, that politics shit is crazy. It's bro. a whole nother ball game. It's a whole I was just about to game. say what I, you I, think. Uh, personally, I look at it from different perspectives. You know what I'm saying? So, um, all them motherfuckers fucked up, if you ask me. So Trump ain't no different than Biden. Yeah, yeah. None of the other ones, you know what I'm saying? They all crooked yeah. as fuck, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, with their own agendas. So, like, me personally, when it comes to politics, like, what I ain't going to say I like about Trump, but it's more like um, I'd rather a motherfucker be like, hey, big, fuck you. Yeah. Rather than be like, hey, big, how you doing? Then walk off and be like, man, I can't stand that nigga. Yeah. You know that, what I'm saying? That, I can I respect a man more that, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I don't like you. At least I like, know it's fuck me. And, and like bro was saying, mm -hmm. like, it kind of opened up like shit they try to cover up. Like, racism still live and, and, and is real alive. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, even with them doing where they uh, attack the Capitol and shit, like, if that was black people, man, I don't would have been. That would have been a bloodbath. That would have. That, that would have been a real bloodbath. So, it just put it all in perspective of what well, America, you know what I'm saying, really is. Like this really ain't. It ain't for us. You know what I'm saying. But in the same sense, for me, you know what I'm saying. When he was in office, he's a business minded person. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. Um, so it opened up the market for people like me small businesses, mm -hmm. he made it a lot easier to become your own boss. You know what I'm saying? They, when a nigga was trying to do shit, LLCs and back before then, mm -hmm. man, it was it was all type of obstacles. You know what I'm saying? And when he was in office, man, it was, it was different. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like a, you gotta take with the, the good with the bad, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I feel like I shit, know. everybody was, how everybody went and voted for Biden. Tell me what the fuck this nigga did in four years for us. Because like Period. you said, it's going to be like this anyway. Regardless. At least let it do something, you know what I'm saying, from my pockets. You yeah. Know what I'm or let me, allow me to do something that's going to benefit my family. Me and my you know family. I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so I, I can respect that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people will see all that, what they putting out in the media, which is, you know what I'm saying, all that is perception. You know what I'm saying? So, like, they putting all that out. But if if, if it's really that bad, like y'all saying, 
And now this from the last presidency, how do we get to do it again? How are we right here, right again? now? Like so, so it's almost like y'all entertaining this shit. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what's gonna come, right? If this don't happen, right. or if it does happen, you know what I'm saying? So okay, for sure. That's a money thing too, though. For sure. Because it's just everything. Everything is monetized. And it, and, and what and, 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 and the and the, the ratings for the TV shows and all that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of shit just be publicity too, man. So it, it's all. I wouldn't be surprised for real, like if Trump, like with, at the, at the end of the day, it's another Biden and Trump situation, and Biden when it, just hypothetically say Biden wins again. Look how much money was generated on both sides of this party. Yeah. They both, everybody walked away with fat, like like both parties walked away fat racks. And this is what I tell a lot of people too, like we're getting more in tune with the politics though. Like, man, our whole life we was raised, we was raised to be, or taught that Democrats is for us. Yeah. But in our actuality, what has any Democrat done? Like my mom was struggling in the seventies and eighties like was still struggling like you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. it ain't they ain't really did and then at one point democrat it was the other way around mm-hmm. but they still at the end of the day work mm-hmm. hand in hand it's all the politics man out of being in a non-profit and and having to deal with even a local you know what i'm saying with your mayors and man and sitting in in real meetings with them and seeing how they all this shit is chess bro like mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I'll uh, explain to like when, when all the uh, black, you know what I'm saying, people was getting killed by the police and we all rioted at the downtown. Mm-hmm. And it was a peaceful protest, man, but they was shooting tear gas, rubber bullets, mm-hmm. all that at us. You know what I'm saying? And then the KKK came down here <laughs> with five motherfuckers and man, they protected them like the president was in this motherfucker. Like, we ain't on no kill. Like we just saying, like we want our voice heard. And exactly. So you know what I'm saying. Like the, even with the politics, with that, like you know what I'm saying. Or I remember that too. Yeah, this shit been so getting more understanding of what the politic is. Politics is man, like that's a that's, it's a fucked up game, bro. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. All right, so yeah, Chuck. <laughs> I get everything you were saying, big dog, and moving forward. Don't do that shit again. I won't do that shit again. <laughs> All right, so listen. Gilbert Arenas reacts to Saucy Santana twerking. Oh, my goodness. A good show is a good show. That's what dude said. That's what Gilbert Arenas said. I know no, it's going to throw you off. That's what I said. I've never at, seen somebody yeah. with nails and the beard. I, I, that was the problem. It just threw me. It threw me off. And then... And then when I hit the video, twerk. Did you like it? Damn. You like the twerk video? He said it's like water. What he say that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Stop! Like no, no, lie. no! Stop! Like <laughs> Stop! I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not rolling, bro. No. no I mean, I'm all I'm saying, if I had the, if I had the rate between who's better. Him, I'm trying to see if him or Megan Thee Stallion. Stop, stop, man. I don't no. know who I'm going to throw my dollars to, dog. Okay. A good show is a good show. <laughs> uh, a good show is a good show. It threw me off. You literally that nigga just, gay. You fir- he literally just like. O Block said it. That nigga for gay. Absolutely no, di- for no reason, just disrespected the shit out of Megan Thee Stallion though. Like, what? <laughs> what does she have to do with, with any, any of that? How you even compare her to uh, you, to a you whole? Know what I mean, like, so in who? The end, that, like, I'm assuming the, 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 the sock, like, cause I ain't tuned into that. Hold on, but before we start, that, before we start, <clears throat> I just want to say, here at the Cut Different Network, we have absolutely nothing against. Anybody from the LGBT plus community. T Q A I plus. Okay. But what was you about to say, bro? Nah, I don't know who uh I'm I'm a after listening to it, dude definitely was like a uh 
You know that oh. that was Gilbert Arenas. The old. Nah, I know, yeah, but I didn't know that Saucy Santana. You don't know who that is, Saucy nah, Santana? I don't. Saucy Santana is an artist from, is it Miami? I think Miami. He's and a gay rapper, and he started off as um, transgender or just a nigga. No, he's a nigga. He started off as a um, with body parts. <laughs> who knew? <laughs> he started off as a the hairstylist for uh, what is the bitches? I mean, I mean, what are the, uh, the group, the rap group? The City Girls. The City Girls. Okay. And he, uh, I'm going to show you. He said, you know the motherfucker from TV. I'm going to show you. Yeah, yeah man. That's, oh, that's man. crazy. But he said if, if you could compare his twerk to Megan Thee Stallion, <laughs> that's crazy. he, he wouldn't know. know. Who to throw his dollars to? Man, he tripping. That of, nigga. Is he is he because trying to save? He gay. Because a good show is a good show. He nah, that's gay. Good. Show is a good show. Uh, yeah, he just lost cool. A whole nigga can't entertain me like that, man. Is he was he trying to save face <laughs> with the LG? Did he say something bad? <laughs> Who? Is he Gilbert to save Arenas? Face? <laughs> Ah, yep. yeah, uh, you saying is he trying, trying to, to like recover like, from saying some bullshit? Seen what happened to the baby? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> boy, you say something, you could, but see, you could just, dog a nigga. Like your best bet is to and, give up. It won't get it punished as much as you would if you say something about, you know what I'm saying? That, that community. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, did he say something prior to I'm to not. try to fix it? That's you know crazy. I mean? Ain't gonna like, lie. If that's how you smooth shit that over, that's that ain't, yeah. That's, I mean, that's I'm not, wow. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not condoning it. At no, all. for sure. You know what no, I'm but it's like, was it a method behind that? Like, was you trying to get cool points with them? What was the method? Yeah, like, what was your purpose of doing that? Yeah, yeah. That, yeah like that don't that make part. no sense. To I me. have no idea that part. Because, because if it's between them two, and you saying you don't know, that's a problem. Yeah, you go. What's man. up, man? And I'm, yeah. man, I'm throwing the whole bag at Meg. Right. You know what I'm saying? They don't. They, if my dollar accidentally go that way, I'm pushing it over the bed. You feel me? Like right. that wasn't for you. You know what I'm saying? That's bad. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? That's just crazy. That's don't talk, crazy. <laughs> I don't know if. Okay, so I was locked up. The first this is the first time I was ever uh, introduced to uh, South Santana. Um, I'm locked up watching Revolt. And um, uh, it's a podcast show called uh, Big Facts. Um, so they you. was interviewing Sauce and or whatever. So you know, dude on here, beard lined up, but he got nails, lip gloss, all that shit, right? This nigga got his ass done, whatever. And somewhere in the <laughs> pot, and somewhere, <laughs> no, no, for real though. Like I ain't even lying though. And this is this, <gasps> like, cause I I really be wanting to ask these type of questions, oh, but. <laughs> Somewhere <laughs> in long this interview, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it went. Uh, it was DJ Screen. What made you? Okay. Say? <laughs> because we because we talking about Sauce Antenna and so. Well, what it, made you bring up the fact he got a BBL? I mean, he just talking because about the shit because 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 let the man grind. Man, come on. But anywho, anywho, <laughs> there's more. <laughs> dude says that he's not gay forever. Hmm? That he wants to be married to a woman and have kids. That shit fucked me up. Did it? No, like seriously. Why the fuck you up? Because how is it like you done did all this to your body? You put you portraying this whole other lifestyle. You ain't been a person. So let, let me ask you: Is the show? You, is the show just? No, you don't see the, the same show? shit. <laughs> you don't see the same shit. Mine is the expensive ass surgery. Well, I guess. Yeah. All, right. all right. Anywho, on to the. Yeah, I guess you're right. Never mind. It's just, it just, it was just crazy that, you know, and it's, a, it's everybody's accepting to this. Chuck, you ever seen Saucy Santana, mm-hmm. man? Uh, I'm not sure. They got a little picture right here on the thumbnail. That's who that is. Uh, Bald head. Yeah, dark skin. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I've seen just random videos maybe just, you know, on the internet, but I didn't exactly know who that was. Yeah. I've definitely heard heard that name before. Well, I could tell my brother Diego is trying to get up out of this topic. 
So in the other news, yeah, don't, yeah. don't fuck around. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, don't listen though. And and on to other news. Mm-hmm. Lamar Odom and Caitlyn Jenner team up to launch a new sports podcast. Shut the front door. <laughs> According to TMZ, the name of their podcast is Keeping Up with Sports, which will have the two sports champions interviewing various guests along with their co-host Zach Hirsch. The first guest on their show will be Sugar Ray Leonard. Hmm. Anybody go tune in? Check it out. That should be interesting. I might see what's to it. Do you think this was like something that they had already had talked about at once upon a time? Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. That's a money. That's a money. That's a money thing. Nah, nah, that ain't even. Maybe a little pillow talk. Perhaps we all know that Lamar Odom them been exposed for liking transgender, and now Mm Caitlyn Jenner is a co-host. Do you think that? By chance, this is a coinky ding. No, you, <laughs> you think they like, uh, and you know they both come out of the. Let somebody let somebody fuck up. Somebody's getting exposed out of the Kardashian <laughs> clan. Text messages and all type of shit. You ain't gonna know what's going on. Nah, I'm saying the show might come on. And they might be that's sitting there. Why, that's probably really why she divorced. They might be sitting there holding hands. I wouldn't be surprised. But hold on, ain't. He fucking with uh you could you could do cocaine, wreck the car and everything. <laughs> you, you you on some you on some fishy shit, boy. You got to go. This is crazy, bro. <laughs> what y'all think about it though? Like for real though. Like them having a podcast because regardless of the weird shit that they into, they both are well established uh Athletic. athletes. Uh Caitlyn Jenner was once like what a Olympic, but like an uh, it he he won multiple gold medals and shit for right the Olympic yeah. And Dude. then Lamar Odom, what he got a ring or something like that, ring or two. What he got a couple, couple of them. the Lakers. Yeah. So it's not like them having a show, you wouldn't be able to gain information, or they might not have good conversations. Yeah. Hold on, Would y'all be willing? They, they might have Lamar great Odom. stories. Lamar Odom and um. Okay. I think they're gonna have some great stories to talk about. Would you tune in? You think I'm going to tune in? I don't give a fuck about dude being gay. I mean, I don't, I'm not homophobic, so I don't. I'm, I'm, I bet they got some stories. Shoot. That shit probably gonna be funny. I know they got some stories. Lamar yeah. Odom's a crackhead. It's interesting. <laughs> I like stories. Ain't gonna be funny. <laughs> the, the whole the whole thing about TV shows and shit it be like chemistry. So I I think that would be my the mm. the main reason why I would tune in first just to see. And then if I think the chemistry between the two is all right, then it'd be something for me to continue to watch. Well, I'm sure they're comfortable with each other. I'm not trying to be funny. Not no jokes. Mm-hmm. But you know, because they both came from the Kardashian right. family, so you yeah. know they was. They probably under talking as men. I'm about to say he or she is the Kardashian <laughs> family. Shit. Yeah, he you got the kids. I mean? like, it. Yeah, yeah. And bro was married to one of the daughters. Uh, Lamar was Lamar, married Lamar. to Chloe. Um, Chloe. No, yeah, is it Chloe? Chloe? Yes, yeah, sir. okay, Chloe. Yes, sir. And um, that's my favorite. And Caitlyn was married to Chris Crazy. when he was a mom. dude mm. to the mom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Chris. Yeah, they used to be homies mm. in there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready for it, man. in the house chopping it up. Chopping it up. Like, these bitches two. getting on my nerves. Mine, too. Yeah. Right. Uh, damn. It's a lot of bullshit going on. Growing up, yeah. did y'all like uh, Drake and Josh? Anybody familiar with the shows? Used man, to come on Nickelodeon. All the night. I'm a 90s baby, you feel me? So all the cartoons from the 90s and all the sitcoms from the mid-90s, early 2000s, man, that was... That was this guy. So y'all know. I'm hip. I just didn't fuck with it. I never, mm-hmm. I never seen that. Drake used to be on all that too, though, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. So uh-huh. they got a new Nickelodeon documentary. Excuse me. And they got to talking about it's damn near like, you ever heard of like the dark side of the ring? Mm-hmm. Damn near like that, but for Nickelodeon. And Drake, it says, Drake Bell reveals he was repeatedly sexually assaulted by Nickelodeon dialogue coach Brian Peck when he was 15 years old. I can believe that. He looked like it. Like, when you actually go back and look at the 
the tapes and the and the production. And hey, shit. who like came this? up with these fucking this topics, topics this week? Right. <laughs> I don't know. That w- it was kind of. Uh, hey, I didn't put nothing in there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me just w- say I didn't put nothing in there. <laughs> these topics it are me. fucked up. I didn't mean. That. I'm it sorry for cutting you off, Arco. Nah, I'm you sorry. good, but you Continue. interesting point. Though. Continue. Hey, <laughs> hey, look though. Point, though. You know the crazy <laughs> part is I'm starting to look down at the topics. I don't see nobody's name on top of them, so but that you. mean they was mad. <laughs> I was about to say, everything we just did was yours. <laughs> uh, I respect that, Chuck. You ain't hate on me. We were just going to let it just slide. Nah, it was oh, me. My wait. bad, y'all. Oh, wait, oh, wait. <laughs> My oh, bad. Yeah, Sen- sensitive topics. No, I, mean, <laughs> I forgot where I was, man. It, that crumble, boy. I'm telling you. You said, <laughs> but, uh, you said that uh, you was going in saying, like, you could tell from back in the day. Oh, yeah, that he's been tampered with or something. Okay, like so when you, yeah. Thank you, brother. So when you go back and look at the old tapes, bro, like, dude just got that creepiness about him. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then you take a look at the production. Oh, wait, so, Drake Bell? No, not Drake Bell, but the dude that was tampering with him. Oh, so you seen the documentary already? I saw a little bit. A clip half of, of it. it. I saw half of I it. I ain't even got to watch none of it it's yet. It's four episodes, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to make any more, but it's what, four This is on what? HBO Max, right? Yeah. Yeah, if you ask me, situations yeah. like this, like companies like Nickelodeon or, um, what what what's another company that's equivalent to Nickelodeon? Disney, or, nigga, don't be scared yeah. to say that <laughs> shit. Disney. I was gonna say, I was. Gonna, <laughs> I just listen. I just say it's something. I just want. I asked the you question know. to verify, just confirm yeah. what I. I didn't just wanted to stay. He as said if for it the was viewers, facts. but. To shit like that is set up for just legal sex rings, tra- human trafficking shit. Mm, man, you know what I'm saying? Because you, if you think about as far as the music, from the music industry to shit like you know, as far as acting or whatever, everybody you know, everybody has a, a story of a misconduct where it comes to some type of sexual mm-hmm. gesture. Somebody yeah, rebuilding themselves. You got these people who have got money, and this is the whole thing. They teenagers. So what? How can you really gain a teacher, a teenager's attention? They get all the accesses to the most exclusive shit. But and but then big game just though. let me, you know what I'm saying? And when the, it's, it's shit now, that happens, then I ain't condoning none of this shit, right? But mm, that's a strong. But that's a strong. You know, you know, I got some bullshit, right? Oh, that's a but, strong. Ooh, how y'all gonna don't sit do up that, here? Jesus. How y'all gonna sit up here and air out Bill Cosby and R. Kelly for free? And and and, and charging us to, you know what I'm saying, watch this Nickelodeon bullshit right here. You know what I'm saying? Nah, show that shit for free too. You know what I'm saying? Let me, <laughs> let me see what that, you feel me? Show everybody what the fuck going on around this motherfucker now. Don't don't act like that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You feel me? Facts. <laughs> All right, so listen. Okay. Listen, y'all. We 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 it's about to be All wrap right. up time, but I want to go over one more topic. All right. One more. And then if y'all want to, we could do a CDN live or something and finish through because there's a couple of them in here that need to be talked about. But listen, anyways, fans are in shock as Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey announce they're on a break. Super Bowl. Can you blame me? (laughs) That means the Super Bowl was rigged? It was rigged. (laughs) Can you blame me? That don't make no type of sense, Chuck. It makes all the fucking sense. That just means that they had a badass Promo, it was all the PR fucking, all the fucking money, Come all the fucking money. So when the, they, so when they definitely was showing Taylor on, Swift man. a lot. Come on, yeah, this was man. some. Uh, this was she some was money. there. But, but, I'm, but I ain't gonna lie, I lost a lot play? of money. They were relationship so, plants. So, uh, yeah, ain't nobody in love like that, and just. You know what I'm saying? It was like you money. Got, you act like they don't do this all the time. They just nah, this was the most successful publicity. one mm-hmm. because be of right. all of us tuning into football. Yeah. They tapped into a market that was yeah. untapped, and they made a whole bunch of. I bet Taylor Swift Swifties brought come a watch whole football. brought a whole lot market. of fans to yeah. football. You know what I'm sure saying? Like a lot of money had them showing. The salary up the cap went up thirty million dollars per team for a reason. Hollywood sit there and organizes marriages, bro. Like, 
You Never think they're that. not putting this shit together? Are you serious? Mm. Yeah. My thing is, what the fuck they got to do with the Super Bowl? You must be a Chief fan. No. I just know that they about to go do that shit again without Taylor Swift on the team. All right, well, let's... Now that that, that she done broke up. They already had... She wasn't 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 there. there. She She wasn't wasn't there the year before that. Yeah, yeah, you right. Nah, it was just something something to add to the story. It's definitely something to add. It's something to add to the story. And it brought a whole nother market to football. So so putting that... I understand I ain't going to say that... They made them win the Super Bowl because of it. That's what he's but saying. But it definitely was some That's publicity. That's what he's saying. He, he's Everything signing off on that. Everything oh, really you guys are saying. That ain't what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I, I, I wouldn't be like that they had the Chiefs win the Super Bowl because he was with Taylor. But that is a great storyline sure. to winning the championship. For sure. And, and bringing a different market. Like mm-hmm. I said. Like, I never disagree with that. Yeah, because Taylor Swift. She like the no, white cool. uh, no Beyonce, so it's yeah, like for sure. I don't know if she got like a beehive, you know what I'm saying? But what? Do, do <laughs> she? Yeah, you know what I mean. What? But that's what I'm saying. Like for sure. No, so them, not, them people that, that they tapped in because of, sure. of her, you know what I'm saying? So that brought a whole nother revenue. Word, but like he said, to the point it opened up the salary cap for every team thirty mil. Come on, man! How many teams in the NFL? They, they, Thirty-two. They, they buying Thirty-two. So you talking about? They cash it. Nine hundred million, almost a, a billion. billion. Yeah, because yeah. you know the that, league kept some of that for themselves. So that was know. so that was gonna happen regardless of Taylor Swift or not. Nah, no, nah, man. Taylor man, Swift. you niggas is tripping. You think you're you tripping. think you don't? Oh, I'm done I'm, talking. I don't even want to hear man, your she, response, she, gang. She hey, probably I'm, got a hundred million followers. Absolutely. That never watched football. Maybe so. That's tuned in now. They made that every money Sunday. before the name Super one, Bowl, name what you name one year that the salary cap for every team has went up any amount of money prior to this. So every Taylor year Swift was that every game salary cap goes up every year. NFL's yeah. the big dogs. They don't yeah, lose yeah. money. No, I'm, not say, I'm, I'm but, saying I'm but 30 one, million, not, not 30 so million, every, 10, 20 million like a Taylor year. Taylor Swift, yeah, the yeah. reason everybody I'm got paid because she does. went to the Chiefs game. Y'all <laughs> niggas is tripping right now. Nah, I'm, I'm saying that they brought a whole nother following. And I don't disagree with you at yeah. all. I'm saying yeah. that same exact shit. Yeah, we on the so, same page. I'm telling this nigga that... Taylor Swift ain't the reason the Chiefs yeah, the, won the Super Bowl. I didn't never I say she was the yeah. reason why they think. Didn't he say that? Yeah. Didn't he say that? Yeah. I said it, I said yeah. it didn't was Didn't he say that when we was talking about that last week? I said yeah. it was rigged. I didn't say she was the so, reason why it was rigged. I said it was rigged. But you brought her up in your rigged Because she played a part of that, bro. It was a money scheme. So I you said just that. contradicted hey. yourself, no, bro. Right. Hey, two years ago, the NFL salary cap went up $25.7 million. Two 25. years before Taylor Swift <laughs> came around. Yeah. Mm. Almost the same exact result. They yeah. did something else that year, and we didn't say that the Super Bowl was rigged because of it. We, we, we really we said, Let's get I was locked up, and I don't show. think we was We're podcasting. Had to discuss. Well, I'm just saying it goes up <laughs> similar amounts all the time. And then sometimes it goes down. It went down 15 mil in 2021 because they didn't have anybody in the stands in 2020. That was because of COVID? Yeah. And since then, it's gone up. Almost seventy million over three years. Well, my cowboys need to use some of that money and grab some people. Well, I'm Good damn so we ain't did Can't shit. The Patriots need to too. Shit, no, I'm sorry as did oh, Bill no. retire? Retire? Yeah, Bill. he he oh, tried not to. Or is he or is he <laughs> going to coach somewhere else? He a Bill. free agent. He a free agent. Oh, it's, man, sit his ass down, man. It might it's be over. Old. It's it over. Old. Old. It's the top. He can come be a, a, a drink, a, 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 a offensive <laughs> coordinator or something. You know what I mean? Where I wouldn't give him a whole where in Cleveland. Cleveland? Come back to oh, Cleveland. God. Yeah, come you back to well Cleveland. Let him head yeah, coach. Right. Uh, yeah, come, come back, back to Cleveland. Yeah, right. hey, come on back, skinny man. We miss you, man. He was a deep player, <laughs> yeah. man. Hey, come back, know. skinny man. Real tough. Go one more topic. He was up. And play the next video before we go out. It's a hell short one. Nah. It's a it's a funny clip. He said, "Hell no." You said it's a funny clip. Yeah, it's somebody doing a news report. With displays, look in their eyes and just stumbling. Hey, like this I'm one behind me. Hi, yes. How are you doing? California. Oh, very nice to meet you. You know, you're gonna do a story. You're gonna do an interview with us. Sure. Okay, because we were just talking about here along Bourbon Street and uh-huh. the STD rate that's been going on here. And so, how long have you um have you had an STD? I don't have.
have that CD. Oh, then why did you want to talk? Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Are you it's serious? You to be ashamed of right now. No, I don't have an STD. That's oh, okay. Disrespectful. Okay. Oh God, yes. Anyway, so I. Well, walking around with this blazer. That's the best handling of, a, of like a haggler by a news reporter that I've ever seen. That's funny as fuck. Anyway. This bitch. <laughs> How long have you had an STD? I don't, no, I don't have it. I don't have it. What, 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 what the fuck? Is that? Why did you want to talk? <laughs> yeah. where, where was this at? Yeah, I don't know. Where was that at, Chuck? Oh, I don't. I was on the news somewhere. I think she said Bourbon Street in the. Ah, uh, she did say in New Orleans. Orleans. Down in the, what, no. Louisiana somewhere. Yeah. You said what? New Orleans. Down New Orleans. Orleans. Yeah. I heard them say something about Bourbon Street. Yeah. I always wanted you to say, go to We were New talking Orleans, about the STD right here on Bourbon the, Street. You know? Never been in New Orleans, man. Um, <laughs> Me either. We need man. to go. Hey, Real talk. All right. So, Taylor, shit, bro. Man, Travis, bar down there. hope y'all find each other. Uh, <laughs> Black, what you got coming up, man? Uh, Right now, man, I'm currently recording two tapes. Money Hungry 4 and Money Hungry 5. Um, outside of that, man. Um, getting ready for this Project Pass show, uh, April 6th. It's going to be in Middletown. April and, 6th. Um, they been forget. going crazy in Middletown lately. I've been seeing a lot of people. Yeah, B&B's performing up Performing and yeah. Them. yeah, it's and all then, type um, of shit going on in Middletown. And then, um. They even had Bazino, didn't they? July, July, uh, <laughs> Sada, ba- Sada Baby going to be there. So and, I'm, I'm at the same it. spot? It's uh, the same location? I think so. <clears throat> okay, okay. All right, that's what's You rocking out at both? Yes, sir. I might come to an end of that. Yes, sir. Check you out, bro. Respect. Been a while. Yes, sir. Outside of that, though, man, that's it, man. Just trying to keep the content going, getting the. Uh, I'm learning and doing the logistics of the music side. That's the business, man. You got to learn the business. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to make sure all the I's are dotted and all T's are crossed. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah. sir. Music industry, a bad motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Big Jago. What you got going on, brother? Shit, me and my cousin three <laughs> out now. It's Bang. a toe tapper. Me and my cousin three. Bang. You on Spotify, bro? Yep. yep. Hey, let me get that info. I got you. I got you. Mm-hmm. Got a, uh, All you got iPhone. Banging. You say iTunes? You got an iPhone? No, I'm a I'm an Android user. I got you. We hey, I yeah, got you get, for sure. Get um, but yeah, other than that, man, I'm just. Trying to make it one day at a time, figure this shit out. You know me. What about you? <clears throat> I'm about to start working on these beats I got from G Money. I made the beat. Shout out to G Money, man. Okay, got yeah. me a little beat pack. So, not much. Just cooking, getting ready for these um, re releases. Period. W- working on this content. That's it. Okay, then. Uh, chilling like a villain. Just trying to make it, man. I'm uh, I ain't really into nothing, man. I ain't about to be on no clubbing. I'm I'm through with it. I'm done, man. I'm in you the house. Done? I'm done. I'm in the house, working in the crib, and I'm I'm stacking this paper. I ain't doing nothing. <coughs> Bless you. You done? I'm through with it. Working in the crib. Your I'm through with this cat. shit. <laughs> that part. I'm through with this shit. So if we all get together and just try to, you know what I mean, you ain't fucking with us? He's going to spin us. He really letting us know that it's, now. It's definitely over tonight. I ain't that, hey, on the, <laughs> hey, on the YouTube <laughs> side. <laughs> hey, for right. real. He said, wrap this shit up, B. Chuck, <laughs> what you got going on? Uh, I'm going to edit this podcast, uh, finalize some of the branding for these other shows we got so we can start posting them. And... Uh, I'm going through the thumbnails. I was I was doing some research on uh, different methods of trying to get your videos to show back up because we've got so much great content that people haven't seen yet. So I'm going through the old thumbnails and kind of spicing them up, trying to get people to you know click on them. I saw you going crazy on Spotify today. Oh yeah, I got that scheduled scheduled out like a god damn. We got hella episodes coming. Yeah, like a week and a half out. Yeah, that's dope. Shout out to Chuck, hardest working man in the game. Say that big outside of continuing our our great 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 relation business relationship with Kiar Wine and the Cut Different Network. What you got going on, big dog? Man, for real. Like I said, tomorrow go meet up with my hand doctor. Um, 
he tell me it's go time. It's about to go full throttle on. I actually uh, just got into uh, acting. So I done, um, shout out to Miss Tina Shaw. Oh, uh, yeah, um, you in that. Get, I yeah, saw so you. Tina's Truce. And um, so I'm going to be in my first play April 27th. Right. Um, I'm That's playing big, you know what I'm saying, with two Gs. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, That's what's up. I got that. Um, who's Bad this weekend. Um, the reality show we done at uh, Ohio Chiefs. Filming live. Uh, Hunt got a show down there. Um, we actually got a show coming up. Where they doing uh they showcasing the um people that's in the reality show mm -hmm. their talents and then it's a grand finale show in April. Um, man, I graduated from college June first. That's what's up. Business oh, management no. degree. We ain't, we ain't gonna congratulations. Gonna I appreciate that, man. Uh, that's for my granny and my pops, man. R.I.P. I did something that I promised them I'd do. I just, Salute. they gonna see it, but I wish they was physically here to see it. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, yeah. Then uh, tomorrow, Champagne on the way, 1983, me and my brother Doug, we got the liquor coming out. We got a cognac and a tequila. Mm -hmm. So we stand in the alcohol game. Um, what else, man? Uh, yeah, we, uh, Man, this is about to be grinding. Like I said, man, I'm coming back out full throttle up. I'm a, I can't give a date on that against our lives, but we is gonna drop it 2024. So, new music on the way, and we grinding, man. I wanna uh, thank y'all for having me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes, like, even on the sponsor side, business side, like, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Like, I fuck with all y'all, like. Y'all brother, y'all already know what y'all mean to me, so. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah like, mutual. this real shit. Trust me, and we be waving that flag high Period. in the sky, you hear me? They know what it is I over here. Then, <laughs> then July 28th, uh, I'm dry, um, July 28th, four year anniversary of QR Wine. I'm gonna do a um, day party. Okay. It's gonna be a blackout. Okay. Our black day party. Um, I got a couple people, celebrity wise, that uh, we done connected with about hosting, mm -hmm. performing. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going to do that big and we releasing um, for being great. So then, you know, of course, then the 12th annual, do a big for the kids back to school giveaway. That's going to be August 11th. So. We need to be a part of that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, like, we need uh, to be out there helping, passing out back, yeah, whatever we need whatever, to do. We need to. Anything, like, man, just being there. Like, I you know we talked last year about even having a podcast um, event. Yeah, where the podcast oh, yeah. Live covers the, the yeah, for sure. Y'all like interviewing the kids that perform and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. um, and I'm blessed, man. Like, we grinding, like you said, man. Everybody in here putting in work. And that's all I, that's all I could think of. It's part of some more shit, but. Yeah, for sure. We're going to go up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna go up. We in the process of it right now. Yeah, literally. So you already know, good pie, y'all. Um, everybody has an opinion. Everybody has an asshole, and everybody has a podcast. Just, Just not, not this podcast. podcast. You are tuned in to everybody has one, and we about to leave out with a song coming off my project, The Green Light. It's called Phases. Let's get it. One of my favorites. Ain't no. Whoa, whoa. Look. In this thing called life, we go through different phases. The ones you start off with end in different spaces. Relationships go from love me now you hate. Friendships go from solid now we shaky. Change you can never make. Being but never break. Being real is way harder than saying. Change you can never make. Being but never break. Being real is way harder than saying. Don't tell me that you real, you gotta show me by your actions. Always on my toes, cause they can't wait to see you laugh. When I'm at them shows, I always get that back in. I don't know if they won't smoke, so I never pull up, always back in. Watch these niggas and bitches you 
put your trust in You ain't ride with me, then cool Go catch the bus then My day one, fuck my ex I wanted to kill him, you don't feel me I focused on my grind I knew that only time can heal me Every song get you the real me I don't care if you accept it Underrated one, did better than it projected Underrated two, did better than it expected A level up, my niggas is eating Gotta get my bezel up Don't call these niggas bro if it don't mean nothing Smiling in your face behind you mean mugging These bitches only love you when they need something They see I'm on the rise, they know my team coming Mud Music Global, the niggas that I'm gon' ride for My girl and my kids, I'm gon' provide for Family orientated, so nigga you can't get in I'm from a small circle where square niggas don't fit in In this thing called life, we go through different phases The ones you start off with, end in different spaces Relationships go from love me, now you hate me Friendships go from solid, now he's shaky Change you can never make, being but never break Being real is way harder than saying Change you can never make, being but never break Being real is way harder than saying that's all I'm gonna give you, man. Somebody, anybody, everybody, tell them when we gonna see them. In a minute, In a minute boy. boy. In a minute, boy. <laughs> One time for the queen. You already know, make some noise for your boy. Oh. It's, it's cut different, baby. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>